thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, it's time to discuss um, what the House of Representatives have told the CBN. The House of Representatives has urged the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to increase the release of new 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira notes and gradually withdraw old notes from circulation. The motion led by Adam Victor Ogene highlights concerns over the CBN's lack of public awareness about the December 31, 2024 deadline for the old notes to cease being a legal tender. The House stressed the need for the immediate public sensitization efforts to avoid repeating the chaos experienced during the currency change in early 2023. Now joining us to discuss this is a public affairs analyst. We have Dr. Martin Morgan. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning, Esther. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so we're talking new old Naira note, old one, CBN, House of Reps. There's a lot in the mix. Now, when I hear the new notes or the old notes, I just remember the chaos that we found ourselves in early um, 2023, right? So when they introduced the new Naira notes, most people could barely, you know, get their hands on it. There was cash shortage everywhere. There was just a lot that Nigerians had to deal with at that time. And I think that was just before the election. So, so many things were happening. Um, but I want to ask you, right? It's been over a year. Um, with this new Naira notes being in circulation, as well as the old one as, you know, also in circulation. And if you look at it, most of those old notes are really, really bad. You go to the uh, to the bank and they give you notes that are torn, worn out, is ridiculous. So I was going to ask, right, how come we still have two legal tenders, even though it's over a year, almost two years at the moment? Well, uh, once again, thank you. That is just a total definition of uh, neglect, of lack of accountability mm. uh, in terms of responsibility of CBN to the public. I, I, I think for me, I must give kudos to uh, the LP, the Labour Party man from Anambra, uh, Adam Obeni, for bringing it to the fore because. Uh, it will have been a situation where by one day you are just looking up and telling that the owners are no longer accepted as legal tender in circulation for the country. And that will have just started over another confusion hmm. to disrupt us and then put more uh, hardship. And that will also be another pipeline for some few people to just uh, siphon whatever they want to take. We, we, we are here in this country, we remember what happened with the MFLA era and yeah. how it ended. And uh, how some people were also uh, being uh, orchestrated to do that. I think uh, what uh, Gene did is even helping CBN to remind them that there's a Supreme Court judgment that tells you that on January 1, 2025, this owner will cease to be in circulation as in a, an LT, that is legal tender, for, for the country to use. They are forgotten about that. And that is what reminds me that now. They have refuted this allegation through uh, their corp uh, acting director corporate uh, communication, one uh, Mrs. Ali, that say no, that uh, it's a wrong formation, but uh, the judgment of the Supreme Court still stands. So if you look at these two situations, what does it derive, what does it tell you that? It tells you that that will have been another orchestrated hardship that will have been mentored on the people and this one as a disruptive te 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 uh, uh, devices. That's my own word. To mm. disturb the whole system and at the same time go back to the chaotic nature. For me, what the CBN should have done by now is that we have a month or two months to end up. And there was no awareness that, yeah, this is the judgment that is standing. So by social period, this old note will cease to be in circulation. We will end up having that chaotic environment, the Mayfield era, the government Mayfield era, where every, we are using Naira to buy Naira and some. Uh, notes were no longer obtainable because this information, if it's not properly managed, I am telling you, even now, if it's not properly managed, if you go to the market and are like, issuing those type of uh, currency to the people, uh, uh, notes, they will reject it. You mm. see how Nigeria are. Nigeria will say, no, we have already experienced it because once you are beaten by a snake, if you see a war, you tell me, mm -hmm. they'll tell me, oh, there is a rumor that we are no longer collecting. So this communication of CBN. It's in that channel, it's not good. By now, we should have seen that in all the 
media, all the studio, social media and all that, you should have been seen a same question, but by social period, this note will be there because the judgment stand. No, the question we keep on asking now, is the Supreme Court judgment, is it being voided? And she said no. In that statement, if you read the communicated from the CBA, they said no. So for me, I think uh, what they should have done is just a situation where the CBA did not work up to their responsibility. We used to say that if you are going to marry a widow, if you don't ask what kid is first husband, you two you go on that way. I think that is what CBA should have done. And this is how it is. For me, uh, Ogeni brought us to, to realize that these people in the CBN, they were not taking their responsibilities adequately. We are dealing with the people at the market forces. We are not dealing with people the, in the very uh, uh, the formal or close office. It's the market woman. As I'm telling you by now, if you don't take time in Lagos, people will stop collecting that money. Mm. Then another confusion will come in. And another coloration of money and interest will come in. This is where we are. I think that for me, uh, this, the, the House of Rep mem member, what, uh, this is how it is. It was even reminding them of their duties, which they failed to do. Mm. CBN, that's, that is it. All right, so um, on one of our papers this morning, the Business NG, um, there was a story there that says CBN debunks deadline for old Naira notes, um, old Naira banknotes, says they remain legal tender, right? So if they're saying, you know, the deadline is not there, and like what you said, we, you hear of, um, you know, people in the market saying we cannot accept these notes anymore. What do you think the CBN needs to be doing right now? Because clearly they do not have their house in order. Um, they are probably not taking on to their responsibility to ensure that those old notes are out of circulation because they are so bad, torn, worn out at the moment. How do you think they need to go about this transition period, especially if the deadline still stands, which is uh, December 31, 2024? How is this transition supposed to be smooth so that we do not face the same thing where people have to you know, use Naira to buy Naira again, like during the Emi era? Yes, Naira uh, element of communication to the uh, public. Hmm. People should not deploy all, whether print, online, visuals, audio, all those elements. Employ a lot of people to tell, look, well, I told you it, and if you read the communique, you will understand that the communique set is still valid. Validity went from when to when. It's not stated. So now, the validity of uh, this communicate, does it supersede the Supreme Court judgment as related to this uh, matter in question? Mm. These are some of these polemics we should be able to understand. I think the CBM has failed in that way, uh, awareness. They were taken off guard. And probably they are not even aware that there was that type of Supreme Court judgment. Maybe they have kept it so and they have forgotten. But for me, they should be able to tell us what to do. They should start communicating. They should start going to the marketplaces. The market woman, the woman, and what are we doing? And the banks who should start communicating because before you know, you see a lot of chaotic situation that we saw where people were sleeping at the bank door from mm -hmm. uh, 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. and waiting to get entered. This is what is going to happen. If you don't manage this situation, if CBA do not manage it well with these commercial banks and all their uh, allies, this is the same situation. So now they should go in on effective communication. Go the traditional way, the national orientation, the national orientation agency. They should work in tandem with them. We have the other, uh, like I said, the visual audio and online uh, platforms that they can be able to, to start educating people otherwise. And, and at the same time, gradual withdrawal is a transition and keep on pumping more of the new note into circulation. Even the new note. It is it, 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 the fragility of that new note is another question, but that will be a discussion for another day. But now the transition is what we need. Start uh, uh, involving the media, mass media, mm. the mass media. Go down to the root. Seven hundred and seventy-four local government. Let all the CBN bosses in the states start deploying the same communication down to the villages. Otherwise. They will start rejecting. Now that this thing is out, I am telling you by next week, if you time don't take time, you mm. see that there's already confusion brewing in the land. It's another mm. confusion that is brewing, another way of siphoning some money. And these are just the situation we find ourselves. Mm. And so CBN has a lot of work to do. 
Yeah, I it think to be because they are left with too much. Except you are telling me that the Supreme Court has said no, the uh, the deadline is open ended. Because in this communique is open ended. There's no specific. If you read it, the CBM uh, uh, press release, it's open ended. Mm. It's still valid from when to when. Whether there was a court judgment, the Supreme Court, the highest decision uh, court in the land. So are you going to supersede it? That's where the institution problem comes in again. Yeah. I agree with you because we need to know what the deadline is. So from when to when, what date to what date is this um, this current seal still valid? But I mean, I don't think the CBN needs to be reminded by the House of Reps because they definitely need to know. In fact, that's their job. That's their responsibility. So they definitely need to know that we need to mop out all of this currency, these old notes, um, out of the system to ensure that we're putting new ones, injecting new ones into it. But I was going to ask, right, um, you know, what, what are some economic impacts, you know, we can see? And I'm sure they might just be negative. If the CBN doesn't pump in the adequate amount of the new notes how you know as they're removing the old ones of course we saw what happened in the Nephilim um, era um, but I feel like that might just even be a tip of the iceberg if we do not manage this situation all right so what are some things that you think we might just see uh, chaos if CBN doesn't do their, their due diligence at the moment yeah. and ensure that their, their responsibility is being taken care of There's going to be a mass cacophony, different <laughs> interpretation of confused statements. That's what I'm going to have. And already, <laughs> already, we already disrupted with the issue of fuel crisis and the cost of living. Yeah. If you go up to five, uh, how many percent? Well, five hundred and hundred. You see, you see that we have a lot of uh, greedy opportunities in our own. Even people at the bottom of the pyramid who are always ready to uh, to take uh, a can I call to exploit any situation and take it to their own advantage. So all this, all this one are what we, already, we had the fuel crisis that is not here and the cost of transportation that have risen over five to six hundred uh, percent. We are not selling. Now we are getting toward the festive period where most of the people from the east and the rest, they need to travel or want to go on holiday. You cannot imagine the confusion. That's why I say cacophony. There are going to be a lot of aggression. We already have more aggression. We are going to have another super aggression that is going to now help us to even be disunited. So for me, CBN has a role to play now. That was why I gave you that statement that if a, if a man goes to marry a widow without asking what killed the first husband, he's going to go the same way. I think that's what the CBN is trying to I hope CBN will not going to take that part. <laughs> they should start the communication because they already, the cost of food, of, I tell the super inflation we are having is already high. Let us not add more again. Don't like what the. Uh, uh, Honorable Adam said, uh, again, Adam uh, Victor said, so please, we are pleading to uh, CBN, the communication department, the same directive they are giving, let their people leave those offices and go to the various local government in, 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 their, in wherever they are operating and do the same communication so that it diffuse the tension. I am telling you, if you go to the, the, the Duma group, uh, one of those markets, when you go, by now, if you don't take that by next week or next month for this equation, the woman will stop collecting it. If you want to buy that, they say, no, when you go with that, the money is not good. Mm -hmm. That is that the interpretation that I'm going to. That is why I use the word cacophony. <laughs> Um, so I, I know that, like you said, you know, things would just go very, very high inflation because especially with what we're dealing with and when there's shortage of cash, it affects every sector. So from the banking sector to petroleum sector to, you know, technology did everywhere. Everyone is going to feel it. Sector. Yeah. Everyone is definitely going to feel it. Um, but, yes. Mm -hmm. So with the timeline now, what we're basically working with is just over two months. Do you think that timeline is feasible to ensure that they're mopping out um, all of the old notes and injecting new ones? Even when you give 12 months, it's not feasible, not less of two months. Mm. Except, like I said, except the, C uh, the Supreme Court, I don't know if the lawyer can, will not say if I have extended so extended. What, that, that judgment we gave last year. We are in Canada. Those are the two areas that we, I think should be done. If I thought it's feasible, if I thought it's otherwise, we should just prepare again for another confusion that will not tarnish all the economy reforms. But do you think do you reforms. think it should even be extended, especially when the notes are so bad? 
They are not so bad. They are dilapidated notes. Very, yeah. very bad. And uh, if the moment you touch them, they stick and they stick into your hands and they are just following you. So, why are they waiting rest. for 12 months before yeah. somebody else will now remind them, oh, come on, this is what you are doing. So, then the Cardoso team and the rest should be able to now understand that this is one of these things we are. Yeah. So, that's the responsibility. And I use the word accountability when we started this yeah. discussion. But when you do that lack of accountability on what that means, you have some duty to perform, but you need to be reminded that this is how it is. Somebody there refused to do what he ought to have done. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Because we are among the reforms we are doing. We are, every day we are reading up the forest, what we have done. But why did you neglect that area that affect the masses? Cash. We cannot go 100% cashless. Mm -hmm. The woman who is selling uh, two cups of gari, a paint of gari, which is now 4,500, Derika, uh, of beans, 2,600. The woman will tell you, we are not collecting again. They mm -hmm. say, so that's, the, that's where the communication comes in. They need to have a point communication that will reach back. So the National Orientation Agency, they should leave their cozy offices and work and enter uh, uh, the uh, ministerial arrangement whereby they will deploy people on the, to the field and talk also to the commercial banks and mm. talk to the managers and the people working in the commercial banks and put sanction mm. that if you are not because most of them will put pressure and try to use it to extort and exploit the masses. This is where the stash of cash will start coming in. So this is where the problem and the commercial bank managers and other people involved in the money transaction even down to the new banks. So will be involved. So for me, they should not need these two months, eight weeks, to deploy mass people as you are going along, you do a sniper approach, all of you should go on the field and start the communication in different languages, ethnic languages you can understand. Because the refutal and the confusion is not going to come from the top. It's going to be the people at the bottom of the pit and the union I who are buying for 40,000 naira left for a week that you cannot use for your tank. This is where the problem will come from. Hmm. So I'm telling you, CBA just have to do they have to deploy their staff up, and the National Orientation Agency have the work to do. So I, this is where we have to get mm. it. Otherwise, another confusion is brewing. I personally think that it's even right late. I personally think it's even late because I don't know what magic they're going to make in it's eight late. weeks. Because it's something late. like it's this, we definitely, yeah, something like this, we definitely should have been hearing about it for like six months non-stop make sure that you know you're trying to get the new notes and it's not even just saying you know what bring in your old notes make you cbn also needs to make sure that there is availability of the new notes in circulation that people can have their hands on um so with something like this where they are starting so late shouldn't there be consequences for the neglect of their responsibility they neglect. Uh, for me, there should be consequences because that is why I say the definitions of your task. Mm. When you fail to execute your task, what could, what are the sanctions? How are you reprimanded? How are you going to reprimand it? And another thing, there's this in the uh, demand creations. It's another way that confusion. A lot of people benefit from confusion. When the environment is chaotic, a lot of people benefit. That is when they do their cash cow. Mm. So it can be an orchestrator or a planting. Because from last year up to now, Twelve months almost down the line, and you've not done anything. Nobody heard it except that as of a red that because we are all concerned about the petrol that will tell you now that it's not working or this one is mm. not. So we are not distracted. So this is another distraction that will come that will not even tarnish all the economic reforms we are bringing in. So it's not helping us. I think uh, the, minister, the the coordinating minister for economy and the rest needs to work and give a direction. No, CBA is an autonomous body. The director to this, uh, the CBM boss, Mr. Cardoso, mm. to really understand that yes, they need to deploy. If at all we are going to use this moment to mop all the more, you have to have more availability of this cash. They have to have it in circulation. 774 local governments in this country, they need. Why well, keep on using the local government? Because this is where governance is. It's mm. supposed to be. Mm. The local government, people are the grassroots. This yeah. is where the bottom of the pyramid. This is where we're supposed to. Think about this group. Yeah. But I mean, the confusion doesn't start from the airline. The confusion starts from the bottom of the pyramid. Hmm. I agree. So I think. 
Yeah, I think what the, the places that definitely needs to be targeted are the rural areas because those are even the people that probably are not, um, they don't even have availability of the banking, um, internet banking and, you know, um, cashless policies. Most of them, they still use their petty cash. So, of course, that's where all of the sensitization, that's where everything um, needs to go into. But finally, um, I was just going to ask because one concern that people really have is favoritism and hoarding of this cash that was what we saw last year they were hoarding the cash um, if you want cash you have to pay a certain amount way higher than the amount you're getting so this is not even exchanging naira for dollar or for pounds for another currency this is mm. exchanging your e naira that's your own whatever you have in your bank account for physical cash and you have to pay way more how do you think cbn needs to address these concerns of hoarding and favoritism whereby it's only a select few um that could get the cash because you were seeing people at events spending and spraying money that is even illegal but they were spending new notes they were bundles and you're wondering if there is no cash in circulation how are people getting this money how are people getting this cash so how do you think the cbn can address this concern right now the concern is for the banks the commercial banks okay like i keep on saying the managers and the supervisors of the banks mm. they are the people selling this currency mm. down to favor friends and relations to go and spray mm. meat they are spraying me they spray meat mm. you go to a party you saw a woman packing big money say collect this give me this this is a situation so the the, the, the issue here is just that cpi have to even as we are talking it's already as i yesterday let me use the word as i yesterday but now cbn should have start an internal centralization program with the, all the bank managers in this country yeah all the bank, if you're financial institutions involved in this country because they are going to have a lot of chaotic environment mm -hmm. and tell them to debrief their mind of benefiting from this type of situation mm -hmm. of, to the detriment of the masses mm -hmm. this is how it's going to be otherwise we are going to still have the same eventually error is returning again mm. it's going to return again I'm not because sure you know the mass people at the bottom when they are angry and they are agitated that they cannot get whatever when you are using naira to buy naira mm. it's not it's very odd mm. it's very odd and mm. it, i think they just have to reduce that type of scenario to the various mm. um, uh, points that we should be able to understand mm. that this is what you should do but then availability of the cash is very important yes if you go to some of the banks ATM, they are no longer functioning because they have all these uh, US uh, point of sales uh, monument or people mm -hmm. outside with mm -hmm. cash. I am telling you today that that's what yeah. happened. That's what and you wonder where they are getting it from. They have to see them to put out of work. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And talking about the Mayfield era, I don't think anybody wants that because that was chaos. That was just madness. Ah, no. I don't think we want that. I hope that whatever the CBN is going to be doing, they're going to be sensitizing. No, we don't want that. Don't want that uh, Mayfield ah, no, not even with, no, not no, even no. with what no. we're seeing with petrol hike, electricity hike, not with all that we're going through right now. So hopefully, um, you know, CBN, they just make sure that they're taking on their responsibility, sensitizing the people, um, putting enough cash, adequate cash in the system to ensure that we're mopping out the old ones and injecting the new ones. And we can have a smooth transition into the new Naira notes. Anyways, um, Dr. Martin, we want to say thank you so yeah. much for coming. Always a pleasure nice having you on our show. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's great. great. Thanks. Be yeah. safe. You Any too, moment. sir. All right, so we're speaking with Dr. Martin Morgan. He's a public affairs analyst. And we've just been discussing, um, well, what the House of Representatives have ordered the CBN to do, which is to take out the old notes and make sure that they're injecting the new ones into the system. We'll go on a short break now. When we return, we'll be looking at our next hot topic, so please stay with us.